Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Ashen. Last time we were tasked from Badaran to come and find one of the Whisperers, one of the Travelers, Isla. We did locate Isla, but before we can continue with her, we do need to collect a couple of items with her, the Heartbone Rod and the Seeing Stone. And last time, well, we didn't quite get either of them. In fact, when we take a look at it, we were trying to get to the right icon here. It's actually not going to tell me, but you can see the two icons down here in Cinder's view. One being the Heartbone Rod, one being the Seeing Stone. And you can see that I did drop all of my Scoria right at the end of the last episode. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we need to carefully make our way back to our drop Scoria. Of course, Jokel is right alongside with me, being as overpowered as always. A couple of you have asked about the NPCs and whether it's something that you can either tone down or turn off. I believe you can turn off the NPC followers, but once we do that, since I'm not doing any live co-op right now, I still don't even fully know how that works. I don't know how I would ever get past some of those sections that require a partner. You know, maybe they're not fully required. Maybe those are all optional sections, but I would like to experience those as well. Oh, Joe Kelly, you just kind of scared me a little bit. So let's head back, let's grab our Scoria, let's find whichever one, whichever item is right there, whether it's the bone or the rod, or excuse me, the rod or the stone, and take care of these doggos, watch the stamina. I do love this weapon, but that R2 attack is very, very slow. And deal with you. There we are. Don't want to take too much damage because if I die, I'm going to lose all that scory. And I do have a good bit saved up there, at least a couple thousand. And I would like to get the Koto's Guile, that one relic where it actually increases damage, it seems, the longer I go without being hit, which I just think would be a lot of fun. Right, okay. So it is up and to the right. If I remember correctly, yep, a little bit of an ambush here. Wouldn't be too bad. Let's see if we can draw... Well, I was going to draw the dog out, but he wants nothing to do with me. There's the ambush I was talking about. I, I thought I remembered one. Okay, getting a little bit careless here. We'll use my Crimson Gourd. Come here, dog. One thing that I do wish was implemented in this game is some sort of true combo system. The more I play with the weapons, the more I realize there is no, there is a dash attack, but as I said in the previous episode or the episode before, I do kind of regret the fact that there is no ability to lock on. Ooh, big hit. Once you have started sprinting. As soon as you start sprinting, the reticle does disappear. Which you can kind of free aim on a little bit, which does work. But just the fact that as soon as I start sprinting, it's no longer an option. And you can't even see the enemy's health bar. Whether that was an intentional design, design decision or something else entirely. Perhaps they just, you know, this is a bug that they'll fix in an update. No way to be sure just yet. Okay, there we go. Look at all the score we've gotten. 1,200. It actually would not take too long to farm 10,000 if I really wanted to. And honestly, that might be something that I choose to do. All right, Jokel, I'm gonna let you lead the charge. And I, well, if I lead the charge, I apparently mean kill them all together. There we are. Taking care of you. Yeah, 76 a kill for these ones. Is that the item that I've been looking for? That actually might be the item that I'm looking for. I still need to go find my Scoria, but let's see. Don't get too clumsy. All right, the Heartbone Rod. Cool. Wow, I must have run right past that. Well, let's take a look at the Heartbone Rod. And that would fall under my artifacts. As the light faded, the ancient Lotharians forged these rods and placed them in their town squares as wards of truth and protection. Me granny Nella taught me how to tell what's real and what's just made up guff. 
says Isla. Made up guff. That's a fun turn of phrase. Right, so Scoria is this way? Hmm. So I wonder if the proposed climb actually works anywhere where the jump is just slightly too high or if it's truly scripted. It doesn't feel like it is, honestly. Can I somehow make this jump? Looks a little bit iffy, but if I can just... Nope. Nope. Okay. That was not exactly what I intended to do. But I know I went this way last time. So how did I get up to there? Let's go up to this window. Come on, Jokel. Every time I do this double jump or this assisted jump, I always think of The Last of Us with Joel and Ellie. Right. Okay. This is definitely on the right path. Back up. Okay. Made a good attack there. Ooh, watch it though. Oh no. Oh no. Silly blue. Scoria was lost. Hmm. I don't even truly recall just how much I had, but I'm kind of thinking I do want to reclaim that. I also see that item up there that I didn't get before. Maybe we can make our way there before we go and collect the seeing stone. Uh, this looks like a place I should be able to do an assisted climb, right? Jokel, do you need to be closer? I just saw it. I saw the prompt. Or does it just say climb? Oh, that's very strange. Okay. Interesting. It was just very, very precise. This might actually work out, though. This might work out just fine. I like to believe that items that are hidden away cleverly are the items that you really, really do want. A little bit finicky here with this climbing mechanic. You have to be standing in the exact right spot. Ooh, there's another item over there, too. Ooh. Wait a second. Prophet's Standard. A spear that predicts a dark future, and I have nine of them. Wait a second. Wait a second. I got it right next to one of these statues. Let's read about this. With the return of light, some vagrants now follow a charismatic leader who claims to speak for the Ashen. Amara said in desperate times, many people choose faith over truth. So is this an actual... It's not. Okay, look. It actually goes into a different slot altogether. How how do I use it is the question. Okay, this is just... Wait. So even though it goes into a different slot, I do use it here. Right. Now, can I do anything with this statue? We're going to try it. It's a ranged item. Okay, that's why I only have nine. Oh, that. That is going to change things amazingly. I was just talking about how I wish I had a ranged option, and now I have just that. Very cool. Right, should I do a little bit? Well, let's test the damage. In fact, I didn't even notice what the damage was. 37 and 149. Again, I'm assuming that's a critical but look at that. That's pretty good. Now, what kind of range does it have? Oh, I have to free aim it. You can't just... So, hmm. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Let's get another enemy. Okay, you can hold it. That's how. Alright, well. I think it's going to take some getting used to, but... Could be fun. Simple poke attacks. It is two-handed, of course, so I can't use my shield and or my lantern. Right. Why don't we actually play around with this big two-handed weapon? What was this called again? This was the... Iron Club. Right. Now, where can I climb up? Is this... Can this be an assisted climb right here? It's a little bit tall. What about over here, though? No, 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 don't slide. I think that would have been nice. 
That's not that much damage, if I'm being totally honest. Wait. Does he compliment your weapon style? Because he was using the club, wasn't he? Or is I, am I making that up? There's a, there's a good chance I'm making that up. But let's see, once we get into combat next, if he is actually going to change that up. There's no way to get across from here. Uh, is it worth it? I mean, it was about 1,200 scoria, which isn't... Did you just give me a quest to raise my shield? Is it because I've died? Game, are you trying to tell me that uh, I could probably use my shield a little bit more? Hmm. He didn't switch back to his club, but I swear he had one. Alright, one thing I want to try. I don't think this is going to work, but I do want to try and throw the spear at the glowing part of this guy right here. Probably going to be a waste. Yeah, definitely a waste. Well, now I know. I'm just convinced that those statues have some secret. Ooh, a lot going on here. A lot going on here. Doesn't seem like my axe is doing as much damage. Am I mistaken? Careful. Let's get a bash. Careful. And finish. There we are. I don't want to spend all day trying to get my scoria back. Oh, Jokel, you could have easily dodged that. You could have listed lazily to the left. And a couple more. I honestly could at this point really just be running past. Ooh, did not have enough stamina to block that. Definitely going to eat a sapote. And I know there's going to be a couple others. Yep. So I'm just, tell you what, I'm going to run past. I spent enough time just in the first few minutes of this video trying to get back my Scoria only to lose it yet again. I think Jokel just went down. Come on. Run right past. Run oh, but I need an assist to climb here. I just remembered. This could be dangerous. I'm not sure that this is... Oh, nope. Okay. <laughs> Interestingly enough, Jokel is uh, not willing to assist at this, at this present moment. That could be because... I don't know if he's down. Am I about to be hit from behind? I'm not sure. Ooh, getting close. I want them to hop down. Ooh, I have made a grave error. Grave miscalculation here. Okay, well, whoop, spear thrower is dead. At least this way, whoa, if I can't safely get back to my score, yeah, I will have saved up quite a bit. Oh yeah, Jokel, where are you? Let's do some damage. Trying to actually knock you down. There we go. And the double. Time to move. Ooh. Okay, we're safe for now. I think I'll use one of my gourds. Just am racking up a lot of scoria here. There we are. Okay, Jokel, where did you actually go down, good sir? I don't... I don't see him. Unless he's just right... Oh, here he is. Okay, let's get Jokel. There we are. So running through seems to be something that you can do, but your NPC follower doesn't necessarily follow suit all that well. You know what? This could be a good time to... Can I do a headshot? Right. Good there. Okay, I think I do want to drop down to finish him off. And then grab whatever item this is, especially because I've used so many consumables. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. White Sapote. Now it should be a relatively easy jaunt over to my fallen Scoria. This game is not 
It's not overly difficult, but it is definitely one that can catch you off guard. Running through works for us, not for the NPCs, and if I need my NPC like I do right now, well, can't just leave him behind. There's my Scoria. Jokal, you're going to drop down. Here, I'm going to let you take the brunt of this. And nice charge. Oh, there we go. That went a lot better. But I really have no need for going all the way up this tower, so I think I'm just going to backtrack. There we are. Right. Now let's start heading towards the Seeing Stone. Come on. There we are. And hop down here. I don't... So far, I have not seen fall damage actually take place. So at this point, I am fairly willing to say that it's either not a thing in this game or it's so greatly reduced that you have to fall from quite a distance in order to be impacted by it. Okay, I do see an item up there. Wouldn't mind having that, and I'm sure this is probably... We can check the map. No, this actually is not the building where the Seeing Stone is. Seeing Stone is a little bit away. Tower of Nomon. This is actually where Isla wants us to meet her once we have these items. But let's grab this item. Oop, dog, are you trying to lead me into an ambush? Actually, no. Oh, careful. Take care of these. Oh, this might be the camp where we're going to meet Isla. That would make that would make complete sense. Only two sapotes left. You know, I thought that they were going to be honestly over oh, over numerous, but now I'm finding that they go pretty quickly. That little spider creature, we haven't seen those since that dungeon where we fought Ukoto last time, or two times ago. Another spearhead. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we can use that with maybe some other materials. Maybe there's wood that we can collect at some point and we can actually craft our own spears. That could be really useful. That could be very, very useful. And watch my stamina. Got a couple of club wielding guys coming. Maybe we can circle around. Oh, careful. One down. Excellent. All right, let's not get caught up too much in exploring. Although I do like the look of that item up on the pillar. But let's head towards the seeing stone. I'm sure we're going to be back in Cinder's view for other missions. That an item off there in the distance? Yeah, but... Here's what I don't like. It's kind of obscured with all of this dust storm. Yep. Yep. Oh my goodness. Which means, of course, there's going to be some sort of boss. Well, not a boss. That's got to have an area of effect back up. Tell you what, why don't we try... Nope. Wow. Wow. I'm not sure if that's because I hit it in a critical spot, but that actually went down pretty nicely. Now, what do we get for taking it down? Another spearhead. Right. I would love to uncover some of the names of these creatures. Maybe over time I will, but so far, the only ones I know are the little rabbits, the Rafets. Pretty... Pretty dark in there. Oh! Right. Right. How about a club? I don't know if any sort of blunt damage is actually a thing in this game. But this guy being made of stone, it would make sense to crush him more so than hack him to pieces. Uh. Did you. Kelt just die? And I mean, really die? Wait. Is it possible that wasn't Joe Kelt? Is it at all possible that was a player character? I mean, how would I know? Does it alert you? Okay, this is this is dangerous. Tell you what, let's see if maybe this spear was what killed him. Nope, at least not not in full. Oh, not a second one. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to flee. We have to flee now. And I definitely need to use a gourd. 
you know, I'm thinking maybe that could have been a player. I mean, because they did just completely disappear, whereas Jokel and other NPCs, I can only imagine, they just go down and you can revive them. I still am being followed by those creatures. And they fight each other. Oh, I like that. I do appreciate that. I like when there's environmental PvE. Okay, what do we have? Spear thrower and a dog. And... To careful, I need to be on this side. Running out of stamina very quickly. Okay, finish the doggo. That's good. Try to avoid the spear more so than block it, simply because it takes so much stamina to block. So the first R2 is very slow, but the follow-up comes pretty quickly. Over 4,000 scoria. Maybe today is the day that I'm actually going to be able to try out that Ukoto's Guile. Considering I do have at least one medium scoria saved up, which is 2,500, and then a couple of the smaller ones. Okay. Got him in one full stamina bar combo. Another dog here. Come on. I actually was really hoping that the dog would come into play here. Now he is. Come on. Let's kite him back. I have not hit the dog yet. That was a good critical right there. Oh, I'm out of stamina completely. I need to circle around. I'm going to lead him back through this archway, if at all possible. And take care of the dog. Good. Back up. Pretty dark in this area. I would not mind to have my lantern, but I'm relying on my shield just a little bit too much in order to do that. What? Okay, I can target it, so that is an enemy. Right, time for my last sapote. Getting pretty close to the stone. Oh. Or are you actually guiding me to the stone? And this looks like an arena. So I can't imagine you're just going to allow me to take it. No. Hey, Jokel's back. Oh, that was definitely not Jokel's play oh, player character. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I desperately need my last gourd here. Ooh. Okay, they're they're pretty squishy, but they do a lot of damage. And there is the seeing stone. Now we can actually destroy the blockade with Isla. And of course, I just went to the wrong menu yet again. Lothirian mystics prize these stones as tools for piercing illusions, curing diseases of the eye, and even preventing nightmares. Granny Nella always said we should try and get one of these seeing stones for the tribe in case the matriarch sent her people out to play tricks on us. From Isla. Well, I don't want to spend too much time here, even though there's probably some really good loot, simply because I am out of healing. I don't have any sapotes. I have no more gourds. A broken bladed club. A callous combo of chopping. What did it say? Oh, I missed it. The flavor text is gone. And bashing, that's what it is. A Cal's combination for vagrants who enjoy chopping and bashing in equal measure. The stormed ruined vagrants aren't known for the subtlety from Jokel. So it is a one-handed. But we go down to 31 with 0% critical hit chance. Definitely something that I can upgrade and try out, but not worth it for the time being. Not when I have a much stronger weapon with much better critical hit chance. Well, I think it's time to go meet Isla at the Nomun, Nomun Tower, I think is what it was called. Tower of Nomun. We had that one traveler here. It looks like this is now considered... <laughs> I almost said safe zone. 
Do I have something else behind me? Oh, several enemies. Oh, heavens. Time to back up, and I think, yeah, Jokel is down. I'm going to have to play this one very, very carefully. Uh, hmm. Well, the dash attack actually works really nicely. Get in, get out. Oh, wasn't wasn't paying attention. This is not this is not great. You're almost dead though. If I can deal with you, I would love it, love, love, if you were to drop a sapote. If he had just poised through that, I would have been a goner. I don't know if poise is in this game. I don't know if there is hyper armor during certain attacks, either by players or by enemies. All questions I have not had a chance to answer. You do your double? I'd actually love for you to do the double. Well, that one works too. Is it just the spear thrower? I can, I can deal with you, I feel. <laughs> Put that on my tombstone. This is definitely going to be just a mad dash to get my Scoria and finally go talk to Isla. Ooh. I'm playing a little bit loose. Either that or maybe I'm just not comfortable quite yet in the combat mechanics. I would not mind upgrading. I know I've been trying or saying that I'm going to use this Okoto's Guile, which sounds like it very well could be worth it, but at the same time... Having just a oh, stronger weapon overall could be incredibly useful. Let's get back to the score. It shouldn't be too terribly far. Okay, Jokel, rush in. I want you to take the spear thrower, if you don't mind. No stamina. Oh, I was trying to actually get a dash there. out with him still all I have now are all I have now are the gourds I have no more sapotes which is a shame I really liked having those available that was just an absolute ton of damage absolute insanity oh item there that I think I ran right past spearhead right I mean if those can become spears I'm gonna be all about those but apparently I do need to go back in there. Whoop. Okay, thank you, Jokel. Doing a mighty fine job. Sounds like you're still killing. Ah. I definitely went the wrong way, and now I'm killing a lot more enemies than needed. In order to get back to my Scoria. Careful. I also need to try and rely on that dash attack. Not dash attack, but the dash evade a little bit more in other words if I just hit the back button the B button then I can just do this quick dash and it seems a little bit more effective than the roll I could be wrong often am what do I need to do I need to go this long way around this little town and then up here there we go let's bait and nice big heavy charged heavy attack beautiful Aha, here's my Scoria, and I just found an item. We are now up to about 6,000, just about 6,000 Scoria. Another spearhead. Where is our good friend Isla hiding? Watch it, I did see the spear throw that's up there. And let's just charge in. Get another quick hit or a free hit. Jokel, I'm going to let you hopefully deal with that Iron Club wielding guy. Get my stamina back. And just... Oh! Thought I was going to have him with the R1 spam. There we are. There is Isla. Let's take care of this. I have both the Heartbone Rod. Oh, and there's a Ritual Stone. And I have your Seeing Stone. These rocks aren't what they seem. But that don't mean they won't hurt you if you run into them. So let's see what them nifty artifacts you found can do, eh? Touch both rod and stone to the wall, and those rocks should blow away like ash in the wind.
Now, is this an ability that I can now use? If I see rocks, I can just dissipate them with the stone and rod? By me reckoning, the job is only half done. Let's go disillusion old Garoran before he makes a new blockade. Old Garoran, that sounds like a boss to me. Right, well, I think at this point... Ah, it actually had an ore around it before I activate it. That's kind of neat. Before we continue on and take on old Garoran with our good friend Isla here, I think this is a good time to wrap it up. A few more deaths than I was anticipating and hoping for. Playing a little bit sloppy, but we're getting a lot of exploration in. Not getting too much story just yet, or at least not in this episode, but I think that will all change very quickly, especially once we get back to Vagrant's Rest, because I know that Batarang still had some quests for us up there. But that is going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Ashen. I hope you're still enjoying half as much as I am, because it is an absolute blast to play. But I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.